Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for trading coaching classes. So here, let's suppose that I have a trading coaching and to promote the classes, I'm using Facebook lead ads. Here, my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I want to add the lead details in a Google Sheet. So now to do this, I need to build a connection between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect follows the concept of trigger and action. So here to do this, my trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and my action application will be Google Sheets. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for trading coaching classes. So here, let's say that I have a trading coaching and to promote the classes, I'm using Facebook lead ads. So here, my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I want to add the lead details in a Google Sheet. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. And as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. If you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as add Facebook leads to Google Sheets. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Facebook lead ads automation because this is the automation for Facebook lead ads. And here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of a trigger application and in a workflow, we can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for trading coaching classes. So as I've mentioned that I'm promoting my trading classes with the help of Facebook lead ads. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then I want to add the lead details in a Google Sheet. So now I will go to my trigger window and over here I'm going to search for Facebook lead ads as my trigger application. And the trigger event will be new lead instant. So the moment I'm going to receive a new lead, then this workflow is going to run automatically. So as I've selected my trigger application, moving to my action window, as I want to add the lead details in a Google Sheet. So here Google Sheets will be my action application. And the action event will be to add new row. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So as my objective is to add the Facebook leads to Google Sheets for my trading coaching classes, in order to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I will simply click on connect with Facebook lead ads. I've already opened my Facebook lead ads account in one of the tabs. And the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect is connected. So now moving to the page and the lead gen form. So here I need to select the page that I've created for my coaching and the lead gen form that is associated with my page. So here, this is the Facebook page that I've created by the name of Easy Trade. So here in Pabli Connect, firstly, I'm going to select my page that will be Easy Trade. Here it is. And after selecting the page, now I need to select the lead gen form associated with it. So here in Meta Business Suite, these are the lead ad form. So I'm going to use this lead ad form by the name of Easy Trade Lead Form. And this is how the form looks like. So I'm going to use this lead ad form. And here in Pabli Connect from this drop down, I'm going to select the lead gen form. So once I've selected the page and the lead gen form associated with it, here I'm going to click on Save and Send Test Request. So as I did that, here you can see it is waiting for webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data could be recorded over here in Pabli Connect. Now to do a test submission, I will go to this new tab and over here I'm going to search for Meta for Developers. I will go to the page. And here in Meta for Developers, I will go to More. And now I will go to Tools. And under Developer Tools, I will go to this Lead Ads RTO Debug Tool. 
So this here is a lead ads testing tool and this tool is going to test the integration. So here from this page drop down, I'm going to select my page and now from this form drop down, I'm going to select my form. So once I've selected the page and the form, here I'm going to click on preview form. So this here is the lead ad form and I fill in the details. So here is the email, full name and the phone number. So now I'm going to submit this form. Here it says, thanks, you are all set. Your test lead has been sent. That means the test lead which I've just created would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And yes, over here you can see that I have received a response and here in the response you can see the email, full name, phone number, created date and time along with some other details. That means the lead which I've just created is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So as I've got the lead details over here in Pabli Connect, the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever I'm going to receive a lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically that lead will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first step is done. So as I've got the details, now I want to add those details in a Google Sheet. So in order to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on Connect. And now to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. Here you can see that the authorization was successful. So Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet and the select sheet part. So this here is the Google Sheet that I've created by the name of Facebook Leads New. It consists of three column lead email, lead name, phone number and only of one sheet. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook Lead Ads, then automatically in this Google Sheet in a new row, I want to add the lead details. So in order to do that in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select my spreadsheet as Facebook Leads New. And the selected sheet is sheet 1 because this Google Sheet only consists of one sheet. So here in Pabli Connect, now moving to these details. So here to mention these details, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received these details from Facebook lead ads, so here in these fields, I'm going to map it. So as I've mapped the details, this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as you can see that I have mapped the details over here in this field. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. That means in my Google Sheet in a new row, the lead details would have been added. So I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet and yes, over here you can see that in a new row, the lead details are successfully added. So here is the lead email, here is the lead name and here is the phone number. That means the test lead which I've just created is successfully added over here in my Google Sheet in a new row. So this automation is a successful one. Now, whenever I'm going to receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically the lead details will be added in my Google Sheets in a new row. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.